be a little thrown there, prioritizing building the green cover other than capping. You, uh, you don't want to be playing off the back foot like that, especially not with a unit as key as the engineers. Well, that one's going to be a little upset with that. And there go the medical supplies. Stone Pioneer's going to be making use of that. What a great early game push from Nagano. Interestingly, Von Aston has gone in with guard motor coordination tactics from the start. We're seeing a lot more of this in this tournament, actually. Players going in right from the start of the game with a commander pick. It's uh, no longer kind of like the old tournaments we were casting, where a lot of people would just pick later on in the game as a response to something was happening. A response to maybe a, a unit that came on the field. No, actually a lot of players feel comfortable knowing they've got a build and a strategy in mind. Well, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? I'll leave to your judgment. Look at that early game. Nagano has been completely uncontested on the left-hand side of the map. That's going to now uh, allow him a nice flank down by the strategic decap outside of Von Aston's base. Now he's going to have to be careful with any units that are retreating. as two squads come in from that side. And uh, Von Aston is going to try and go for brute force to win this. He crosses negative cover with the Stern Pioneers. Unfortunately, it doesn't take a model loss. That's going to allow him to do huge damage to the conscripts. Again, Von Aston has to be careful. Look at the damage output. Flamethrower upgrade on the engineers. It's going to be Von Aston's way of uh, knocking any units out of cover positions. There's a very low health conscript squad there. Nagano just manages to spot it, but isn't going to drop any models. Here come those stern pioneers again. Engineers in negative cover. They will open up with that high DPS. Wow. These units, look at this. 16 kills. Four minutes into the game. If we have an MVP right now, it is going to be those Sturm Pioneers. What an incredible start to play. 18 kills now. Don't forget, when these unlock Vet 3, they're going to be able to get concussion grenades, which is going to make it even more difficult for conscripts to close in that close range uh, and get any DPS off. And uh, this is why you'll see OKW as one of the most aggressive early game factions, all because of that one unit. Back in base, nothing special going on. Mechanized Regiment from Nagano, still no commander pick, not necessary at the moment. Going to be taking some time to get cover positions on the map. These are going to help him later on into the game as Von Aston starts getting his strength back. We're seeing infiltration grenades, so Special Operations Commander just picked them for the intention of those Special Operations infiltration nades. And this has just been such a popular pick today. Everyone seems to be going for Spec Ops. It seems to be timed quite well, because I think with Mechanized Regiment, you see those units. You're going to prioritize going Mechanized Regiment, get a couple of units out from there. By the time uh, that Panther unlocks, works out pretty well, resource-wise. Long retreat here. We're already seeing two squads. STG upgrades. Conscripts. They're having a bad time already. It's going to be worse now. Guards on the field. From Von Aston's guard motor commander. And, uh, oh, Nagano is just about to say. He needs to be careful there. Seeing the engineers that there's no mines. He's just done the scouting. Flicks off the minesweepers. What attention to detail. Great micro making use. That extra model able to push Von Aston off the map completely. Look at the resources at the moment. Plus 13 fuel to Nagano's plus 39. Nagano's going to be having an amazing game. He's already building the Lukes now. Six minutes, 30 seconds into the game. I love this, by the way, this green cover position, because this only gives medium cover normally. Some, some infiltration nades there. Looks like the incendiary got caught up in the structure. Von Aston under a triple cap right now. So only lost 50 VPs, which isn't loads, to be honest. Nagano probably could have made made more out of this.
And uh, this is sensible, really sensible. It's going to take a long time to decap the fuel, so uh, what Van Asten's doing is decapping this strategic point. It's quicker, and it cuts off the fuel quickly. So uh, he's quickly neutralizing the fuel supply to Nagano's base. And uh, those kind of plays are really important, really important. Got to make as much use of time as you can on the field. This is the interesting point. We only have guards as a method of anti-tank at the moment. There are no AT grenades for conscripts. So the Lukes is going to be a dominant force on the field for at least the next minute and a half. There's the first sighting of it. Do we have 